Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a test on this test bed of mine. I have already running, or running it on, uh, say, 21 volt DC at, yeah, let's say 725 milliamps. Same drive circuitry, same drive coil, but this time I have a different generator coil over here. I have here a 1 watt load and here also 3 1 watt loads, that's in total 4 watt. I'm gonna do an AC loading test. The RPM at this moment, let's check that. The RPM is now 2170. Let's put 1 load on it, sorry, 1 watt on it. So uh, in this time I have a running at a far higher RPM because I need a higher frequency to get the effect and the effect is, is that at this RPM, this is kind of like the sweet spot, I get a little bit of speed up. So it was, uh, oh that's gone, it was 2170, let's see what it is now. It is now, come up, 29.69, no, 29.96, sorry, yes, so that's roughly uh, 30 RPMs more, with 1 watt load, now I'm going to put the other 3 1 watt load on it, so in total 4 watt load, here it goes, as you can see, this one got a little bit dimmer, because uh, it's pulling more uh, for all the four now. I can hear it speed up already. And as you can see over here, the M draw is now below 700. It was 725. It is now like 675. So basically 50 milliamp less. Let's give it some time. Meanwhile, let you see in the dark. Yeah, pretty decent output on the AC side. So we had almost uh, 3000 RPM with 1 watt load. I have now 4 watt load on it. Let's see what the RPM is doing. RPM is now 3109, so it has climbed uh, roughly around 120 RPM more, which is always nice, of course. Still need to do a test with this one on it. Uh, I will do it shortly and uh, put that video on it uh, on the end of this one. So basically a two-part video. Let me shut it off. And of course it will keep spinning and spinning and spinning. This coil is not an air core. Let me see if I can show you that. Wait for it. Let me stop that motor. The rotor, sorry. Not the motor. The rotor. There ain't no motor under there. Yes. Okay. Let me remove the rotor. Rotor removed. You can see a VCR head bearing. This thing are awesome. Still got on there my 24 pole rotor with the safety ring. Love that ring a lot. And there you can see my coil. Nothing special. And the only thing you can say is special. Look at the core. Instead of letting the core sticking out a few millimeters, I like it inside a few millimeters. And what is the core? Ah, nothing special there either. No alloy 50. Wait for it, wait for it. Ah, ta-da! Just your average tubing at any DIY store. And the coil, yeah, sorry, can't tell you much about that one. It is a high resistant coil, but wound in a certain way as always but uh, for those who experiment a lot will call eh, you will come to notice what i mean by that 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed this part and uh, thanks for watching and keep on watching for the next part. Okie dokie ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I was going to test this 20 watt uh, light bulb over here, sorry 28 incandescent light bulb, but it's just way too much for that coil. So I'm testing it with fluorescent too, and this one is a... Uh, what was it again? One moment. Let me see the box of it. Here's the box. Uh, as you can see it is a 13 watt. 13 watt fluorescent too. Um, running the rotor or the system now at 22 volts at let's say 750 milliamps and the RPM at this moment is the RPM is now 3073 the coil is in the same place same rotor everything same now I'm gonna connect the 13 volt sorry 13 watt fluorescent tube there it is as you can see, let's give it some time. The output is not bad. Yeah, pretty good actually. And we had with the RPM, we had, where's the memory button? This one. Oops, like this. Sorry. <laughs> like this, 3073. And let's see what the RPM is doing now with this 13 watt fluorescent tube load. And as you can see, 3040, sorry, 84, geez. So we had a little bit of increase. So that's why I'm running it at 22 volts. Because for this load I need a little bit higher frequency of the rotor, which is the RPM. And around this RPM is exactly the sweet spot, that's why the increase in RPM or the speed on the load is just tiny. But it doesn't have to be a large amount. Just above the sweet spot and you get this effect. Oh yeah, and I can also turn this one on. As you can see, all the power went from there to there. No power and power. So yeah, pretty happy with this one. This coil over here, as you can see, is almost the same as these two. These two I've done stuff with them, test with them already. And as you can see, look at my finger, give an idea it's about there. And this one is a bit longer, look, give you an idea. See that? This one is about uh, up to here, that long. Yeah, doing tests over here also. That will come. So yeah, pretty. Uh, I have a lot of these coils, I have to say, which give me speed up on the load. But I've since tested them to get uh, the best results, the best performance, and then I will complete a full generator of them, and not sooner. As you can see, low RPM, less output on the coil, and so the fluorescent tube is off. And so am I. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.